Hi guys. A very good afternoon. <clears throat> I believe that the reason that we are in the studio right now is that I wanted to introduce you all to AIMS ranked 4 Dr. Anand Sai. He is from our Varanasi Satellite Center, a product from BHU Varanasi and I specifically asked him to give you some great advice on how to use the notes and how to give test at this crucial moment just months before i think just 1.5 months before neat all right so here we go now so do guide them and i want to first i want you to first tell them how you started okay. how was your journey okay and then we can give them the advice that they looking for thank you everyone uh, so like see everyone uh, like everyone uh, sitting there I was also like a regular student. Okay, uh, I cleared my MBBS and got into the medical college. And then I studied regularly for my for all the four years. And yes, uh, like I th- I was not uh, you you wouldn't say like I was ready from the day one like day one for like I have to clear my PGs. Like that's not the case. I enjoyed fully yes, and I like studied at the same time and balanced my priorities. So. like uh, as soon as uh, i finished my fourth year so like you know like everyone has that pressure like pgs are coming up and you have to be like up to like you have to be t- at the top and something like that so so like uh, i had my notes already prepared uh, from what i studied in during the mbbs time uh, i studied all the standard textbooks that we use at our college and then but still i felt that there's something more that sh- i should add it you know like Uh, so there's one more thing like um, I gave you a uh, MBBS exam AIMS exam so I could not clear it very well okay so I always had that one thing like why couldn't I do it like why couldn't I do it uh, so uh, because of that I had one thing like this time I have to give the AIMS but at the same time I had this fear you know like if uh, what would happen if I won't clear it again so that was the thing but still I went on uh, so as my internship started this year um, one year uh, one month Le- like it just passed by there was nothing special but uh, i got an offer from bartia okay i uh, like i i attended attended the classes uh, and yes made made the notes <coughs> the faculties were excellent no doubt about that uh, and yes like uh, there was one thing my father always put pressure on was you know <coughs> you have to give tests okay like he like, sometimes he saw me like reading every time he told like kitna padhoge ab exam there so here you know i realized it yes and i realized realized it for the better okay like uh, like kitna hi pad lo like wo cheez imprint nahi hoti hai it does not get imprinted like when and that i saw like uh, when i gave the test and the topics were which i read that were in the question so that uh, image was formed okay you know that helped me I a know, lot I know, I know. So I, and gave me like confidence hell lot of confidence uh, so that was great and uh, you know like uh, i gave many tests and many tests many patterns everything uh, and there was uh, always like uh, the like sab mein hota hoga ki kya result raha so like uh, like whenever i gave the dbmc i test okay so the result came up and i was like yes i am in the top 5 so that feeling was itself motivated me to work more hard you know even harder um uh, and what uh, Actually, he was a member of the Super Thirty Club also uh, that yeah. we have. Yeah. So like, uh, <coughs> while giving across uh, some of these tests, I came across a message like, "You can get into the uh, Super Thirty group," and I was like, "Man, uh, at about the same time Super Thirty movie came out, I was like, man, <laughs> that's something good. You know, that might be a good thing." So I gave the grand test, and yes, I was in the top thirty, and the people added me in the group, and. so in that group i could like interact with the faculties on an individual level and you know like that has something that's like the significance of it is something different uh, like satellite classes are good but you know like dbmci super 30 was another thing like i could clear my fac uh, i could clear my uh, doubts like as soon as i wanted so and uh, it felt good like i am in the super 30 i have a chance of clearing this exam so that was very good and yes uh, so you know i am i think many of you might have attempted the grand uh, test the clt you know so i also gave uh, and in that my position was rank 6 but you know like it's very funny but it's very serious thing that 
in the result only top 5 were shown and it was written like uh, you need to work harder to be in the top 5 i mean that was really that motivated me man like it was it was a good thing like i am in the i am at the 6th position but yes i still need to work harder so like you don't have to stop even at your success okay and you don't even have to like uh, fall even if you fail because see you, everyone knows failure leads to success so that's the thing and today i am here very happy and relieved uh, and he wants to take medicine actually he wants to take medicine and we were just discussing the pros and cons yeah. and you know to add so add to it i will just again advise you all that this is a very crucial moment and crucial time and every day is important so do give one test every day right now mm. you have made your notes you have revised them you have to have more trust on yourself so that when you you should know how to implement that knowledge always remember 80% topics are repeated in the exams mm. last last year recall questions the ones we had in last four year aims last three year eight they there are chances that the 80% topics will be repeated in the exam not the questions topic so when you attempt the question bank when you attempt when you see the recall questions previous year questions you can see how the examiner has reformed the same question in so many different ways so when the next time you see that kind of question you already have a chance of getting it right you have a chance of getting it more right than all the other questions okay so this is the chance that we are vying for so right now let's target first we'll target 150 questions then target 200 questions then target 250 questions because with 150 questions 100 right 50 wrong you will be at 350 marks much more chances of actually qualifying neat pg so that's benchmark one the second benchmark should be get into 200 where the wrong are still at 50 150 right 50 wrong you are at 550 marks good rank okay then comes a very good rank maybe a seat of your choice in your choice college college of your choice you have to get to 250 where it is 200 right 50 wrong you are at 750 the world is at your oyster up above that of course that's the platinum level seats the top 100 whatever you are looking for will be yours so this is a small advice that i have for you guys that let's go step by step and i'm pretty sure that this way we can achieve something we can achieve a lot more things let's not i the rank one together let's go step by step okay so apart from this i do believe that the vibe i think you attended the vibe right yeah, yeah. vibe and clt this is again a reminder for you all that the clt grand clt mains is on 2nd december do attempt that do not miss this test in if you are wondering that okay i will just take this another day to revise more the revision time is over and this time you should know how to implement that knowledge at the end of the day you have to give a test only no marks for making more notes so give that test see where you are lacking and then use that if use that time to focus on those uh, lacunas of yours okay and uh, vibe yes so vibe yeah okay regarding vibe yeah that was uh, something different okay um, at first like i did not uh, look at like i did not uh, I did not think that images were like very important, but you know, uh, according to the recent pattern questions, they have recently become <coughs> became, became very really important. Yes. So yes, I did uh, decide to join the vibe, and it was a wonderful, you know, wonderful uh, course. And like, it was a type of like I was revising the things. It was really easy because I have read everything. Okay, but then after seeing the images and like the teachers, you know, explain every topic, and that actually comes to my mind again. So. and yes after that we also gave a test image based test and that was also one thing and um, and the vibe booklet was good you know uh, like uh, i i could not revise it uh, though very uh, rapidly but you know i just looked at the images and something different or something new so that i could rapidly see before the exam so that was very helpful yeah. five questions from anatomy came directly in from vibe uh, yeah, yeah that was i mean yes Like <coughs> the labeling with certain orders, <coughs> I was like thinking, where would I get such a uh, image? Uh, finally, even in surgery, we had pretty good success in images. Overall, the vibe was, you know, totally modeled so that we could cover GIFs, we could cover mm -hmm. video questions, mm -hmm. and even in all, you can you will see that in neat PG, vibe will be having ninety percent of the images in neat PG. So again, and advice, revise all the vibe images very seriously. there are high chances of these images being asked as questions in the neat exam very high chances okay 
now the grand seal t okay you you were a, you were a participant of that i want you to emphasize more on that because i want this message to be passed on to all the people watching the video yeah, yeah. Uh, see like a uh, revision through the notes is one thing but as i told previously like you have to give exams whenever it is possible okay uh, so and one more thing i would like to add like the tests are there apart from the grand seal t like the tests are there in the dbm site like, you can pause them though it is not always a good idea to pause a test but you know uh, like even through hectic times you can give a test and pause in between so that was good thing and so the grand gclt is like uh, it was different because any test which you give on the app they have a, like you are you know that it is it is not real okay but before the grand test like the anxiety which you feel so that was actually real you know and like till the exam till after till the exam i was like anxious and yes uh, and until the results came out the thought process was like very similar to what happened uh, just after the aims exam like i could not i could not focus on in anything else for the 5 days and after the result was out, i was really happy and i'm i'm relieved right now yeah. now i'm glad you uh, i'm glad you're relieved i'm really glad i'm proud that you had such a great rank yeah, you're looking for medicine and i believe that you'll get it so no doubts about that and to all the students of watching the video please uh, keep your focus on these are the last crucial moments crash last crucial month actually so losing the focus right now won't be advisable at all keep giving the test and i do believe that neat is just one month away and you will surely crack it all right and yeah keep update keep uh, check on the dbmc premier group we will be uploading the recall questions on that group only so again a lot of things going to be happen in this month and the questions that have been asked in aims do revise them before you go for neat pg all right so if we can have a thumbs up here yes sir like one more thing yeah. like sab acha hoga theek hai everything takes time okay you don't have to lose hope and every like even i feel depressed sometimes but mm. sab acha hoga sab hona hai okay so all is well chalo dbmc is here for you kuch bhi hai just drop me a message on my facebook id that's nachiket bhatia and i'll be more than happy to help you out okay so thumbs up work hard play hard and i'm sure you will be the next person sitting with me in the studio on this hot seat that's me nachiket bhatia thank you guys for listening